We're hitting up the thrift store again today looking for treasures that we can flip to make a profit on on eBay, Etsy, or whatever platform you're selling on. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Margaret. My partner Juan and I are full-time resellers. We pick things up from garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, just about anywhere we can and flip them online and locally to make a profit so that we can stay at home and be full-time resellers. So if you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Margaret again and uh, yeah, I've already said all the stuff on the places that we sell. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when we put out new videos or when we go live. Really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and follow us over on Whatnot. I'll have a link for that below where you can get $15 to spend on Whatnot as soon as you sign up with my link. Today we are at one of my favorite Goodwills. They've got a lot of hard goods, a lot of vintage stuff, which is generally what I sell. I'm dipping my toes into clothes and shoes a little bit, but most of the stuff that I sell is hard goods or jewelry, vintage items, sometimes some linens, uh, or if I find some really cool like vintage teas and things like that. So this caught my eye. Uh, it looks like it was handmade, but then I think their bump, bumper pads maybe or like those covers for a gross like um the grocery store uh, that's what it looked like so I wasn't a hundred percent sure on those so I just left them uh, I'm still just getting my toes wet with the shoes toes get it ha <laughs> ha uh, but another area that I really, really like to go over are the hats. This area sometimes can be really overlooked, sometimes at garage sales, but there can be um, a ton of money in hats. I've talked about certain kind of straw hats that I like to sell, um, but there are snapbacks, baseball hats, trucker style hats that can sell for really, really good money, especially if you can get them for cheap enough. Uh, so I wanted to share with you some of the hats that you should definitely be on the lookout for. I mean, clearly there are going to be, you know, Gucci and those fancy, fancy brands like that, like Louis Vuitton, but there are some more like obscure hats that you might see that are worth a lot of money that you might not realize. Um, this one is a vintage Louisiana State one. You see how it's got those diamonds on the side? Um, that's a really uh, desirable logo, diamond cut logo. So if you see uh, hats that have that, they can go for a lot of money. This is a vintage uh, Desert Storm veteran hat, which I thought was pretty cool. It sold for $250. This one is a Major League Baseball one. Again, sold for $250. It's just worth your while. Some of these, like maybe I saw and was like, why did that sell for so much money? Bass fishing? Uh, but you just never, never know. So if you can get them for pretty cheap, you can definitely make a good profit. I saw a number of these Polo Ralph Lauren baseball hats that sold for right around this $300 mark. There were quite a few of them up there. WWF, come on, that's got a huge fan base. But that acid wash, oh lordy, that really dates it. But 382 bucks. Here's another one, auto supply. I mean, things that have to do with sports teams, cars. I mean, just weird vintage stuff. This one right here I, I shared, it is a Chanel, but I would have overlooked it because it just doesn't look like a Chanel anything, right? Tobacco on, tobacco I always say it wrong, but tobacco on, I think you know what I mean. This Marlboro hat, I mean, they took an all best offer, but it was up for 999 bucks. Vintage Nike flame hat. I mean, I've just, they're going higher and higher. As you can see, over a thousand dollars. And this one that was a Caterpillar tractor hat sold for $1,500, you guys. So it's definitely worth your while to take a look at some of these like really nostalgic hats. Some of them are just, if you see something that's just kind of weird and you're like, what on earth? I don't even know what that is. Take a minute, look it up. Sometimes if there's nothing like it, you know, and it's, a couple bucks it might be worth just getting it and seeing what happens I, I i do that all the time i take a chance on things if it's cheap enough i got some that were like i think they were from circus circus and they had the clowns and everything on them i got them at an estate sale a long time ago uh, but yeah they sold and made a pretty good profit on them i, I should have looked them up to drop those in here too but but i did not uh this houndstooth uh luggage caught my eye but it wasn't in great great shape and of course nobody's home in there darn it you know looking for musical instruments so these commemorative like what do you even call them commemorative glasses 
they caught my eye and so I thought you know what let me look these up because I haven't seen this before I've seen different glasses that kind of have this type of not logo but like imagery on it they really do not sell for that much money so this one sold for nine dollars however there are some glasses that can sell for a lot so this is a collector series Pepsi this is like a Scooby-Doo one sold for 35 bucks uh, here's another one with Marvin the Martian that sold for 41 with these character glasses it really uh, is worth your time to look them up because some of them are worth like $48 like this one with Henry Hawk but then there were others that were worth just like a few bucks you know five dollars or so um, this one is Slowpoke if you remember uh, Speedy Gonzalez's friend Slowpoke this one sold for $57 and I saw a number of that one um, selling pretty regularly for between 50 and $70 so if that if you see Slowpoke I guess if you, if you think about it here's a creature from the Black Lagoon um, characters that are a little more um, obscure you know might sell for a little more like here this one is Wally Walrus how many of us remember him right this one sold for a hundred dollars so maybe ones that are a little more readily found might not sell for as much but uh, the other more obscure characters can sell for a little more I saw this spittoon here I was like hmm do I want to no I'll pass on the spittoon Hey, I wanted to pause for just a minute and let you guys know that I've got a huge thing going on on Whatnot on Wednesday, and I wanted to make sure that you all were aware of it because I want to make sure that everybody here on YouTube that's been following me and supporting me for so long gets the opportunity to come over and enter in this giveaway that Whatnot has very graciously helped with the budget for, and they gave me a budget to go get a bunch of jewelry so that I could give it away to you. So I'm going to be participating in Women's Wear Wednesday on Wednesday this week, and it's going to be at 2.30. I'm going to link my whatnot down below. I'm going to put my invite code because if you sign up with my invite code, they will give you $15 to spend on site. So you've got 15 bucks to spend. You don't have to spend it in my auction. There's lots of other uh, sellers there that you can explore, but make sure you go in and bookmark my show, which I'll also link down below, but make sure you go in first with that invite code so you get that $15. And then the, the link for the show, you can put a little bookmark on it if you wanna be there because I've gotten, I took the, the money, the giveaway uh, budget that they gave me and I went over to James Avery and I bought a lot of really nice pieces, six, seven pieces. I bought quite a bit of James Avery uh, to give away and I'm really excited about that. But I wanted to make sure that you guys heard about it because you've supported me for so long. So definitely go over there, bookmark it. And uh, I'm gonna be doing another uh, jewelry auction. If you guys like my unboxings, I'm gonna be unboxing a jewelry blindly and auctioning it off as we go. So whatever is in there is getting sold. It's gonna be so much fun. So if you're one of my jewelry uh, lovers, then definitely you don't wanna miss that because it's an unboxing, an auction, and a giveaway all in one. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see you guys there. And again, thank you so much for your support over the years. It's meant so much to me and I hope to see you there. Let's jump back into the thrift store and see what else we can find. I just realized I passed up a, a clear, looked like a Pyrex type bowl with a, looked like it had a peppermints on it, which would have been really cute. I should have looked at that, but I miss stuff all the time, but I didn't miss this Pyrex piece. So this one, I wanted to point out that there's lots of different Pyrex, Fire King type stuff that can sell both Pyrex and Fire King, just depending. But we'll just talk about Pyrex today. This is a site called Pyrex Love. If you ever find a piece of Pyrex and you don't know the name of it, um, this site has got like images of the different uh, patterns. And so you can scroll through with the different uh, to look at the different patterns to see if it matches what you've got. Then there's this other site called Pyrex Potluck. Now not only do they give you the pattern, but they also give you the time frame of when it was made. So you can see very clearly like what years they were, if it's vintage, if it's in, well, I don't know if it's antique, but if it's very old. So it helps you a little bit when you're doing your research. Now, Pyrex can sell for a lot of money. So this is a line butterfly pattern sold for $8,000. There were a few of these, this Corningware um, dishes that sold for, look at, I mean, I, I, I just shared a couple, but there were, there were multiples of that one that sold for a lot of money. 
Uh, this is a rare one also, the floral stripe. And then this, the turquoise one, there's one, another one that looks like a atomic style with that atomic burst on it uh, that has sold for a lot of money as well. And then here's another one with a hunting seam. So it's worth looking it up, and if you don't know what the pattern is called, then just jump over onto one of those sites, figure out what the pattern is called, and then look it up, you know, eBay or wherever online that you do your searches to find uh, how you should price your item. And take a look, look it up. Uh, I feel like I saw another corning rare piece there, um, but I missed it. I, I missed stuff all the time. Are you guys like that? Um, Maybe you don't know if you don't go back and watch, but I, I'm telling you what, if you were to record yourself, you might see that you miss things all the time like I do. This I thought was pretty cool. Placemates, they look like fish. They had little mugs that, you know, would go with them, but uh, they really weren't selling for very much, and so I left those behind. I kind of liked them, though. They were kind of, they were fun, but it was not going to be something that was worth my while. I mean, definitely learning to walk away from things that you may think are cute or you think, man, this should sell for more than it does. Um, and just, I, I've had to learn that over the years, learning it's better sometimes to walk away with nothing than to walk away with something that's just not gonna bring you a profit. Um, I was looking at these, I really do like selling margarita glasses, but I know that I still have a few that, that are still sitting and haven't sold yet. So it makes me kind of hesitant, even though I know they'll sell, it's just maybe not the right time with the right color or the right buyer or whatever I've got. Um, but in the moment, I decided I really didn't want to bring those home. But it is something I enjoy selling. So the next thing I see is somebody put all these cute little owls on this end cap. And this, I mean, it looks like it's kind of a one-of-a-kind piece, but it did end up having a, a tag. Where is the tag? Maybe it was the other one that had the tag. Um, and I kind of regret now that I didn't get it. I'm kicking myself big time that I did not pick up these owls because there are so many people that collect owls. If it's something like this, it's like one, looks like it's unique, one of a kind type of deal, they're gonna want it even more. You know, if, if they've got somebody who collects owls and they don't have one. Look at these Amber, Abercrombie and Fitch owls. I mean, they are selling for a ton of money. This is a rare Squishmallow. Squishmallows are always on my radar. This is a mom and baby owl. Here's Woodsy Owl. It's a toy, not a plush though. Um, sold for 350 bucks. Definitely worth checking it out when you see owl stuff. This is a Stife. Stife generally sells for a lot as well. Condition matters, but um, it, the Stife usually have this little button. Usually it's on the ear, but on the owl, it's on its wing. Sometimes the tags are torn off, that yellow tag, it's um, lost, removed, whatever. Uh, but the buttons usually hang in there. So if you find one with that, then it's definitely worth picking up. Look at these Burberry, uh, I guess they're keychains or charms or whatever. Uh, they might be something that someone might walk by and not realize that they're worth a lot of money. And then here is a Thai Beanie Boo, and that sold for 120 bucks. Really cool pieces worth checking out. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? It's an elephant tissue box holder. I mean, it's just so cute. Uh, I didn't even have to think. It's, you know, there's certain things you just your gut tells you, I should pick this up. These, I love selling these. I actually didn't pick this one up because I have quite a few right now, but these accordion wall hooks generally sell for a lot for me. I don't like to spend more than a buck or two on them, but I can usually get about $25 or more depending on how many hooks it's got on it. I got one once that had like, I don't even know how many, it had so many hooks uh, or pegs, I guess you would say, and it sold for like $75. It was huge. It's pretty cool though. Y'all, let me know how your sales have been, how your thrifting's been, have you been finding good stuff? Garage sales have been pretty slow for us lately, so I'm hitting up the, the thrift stores again, trying to find good stuff that we can flip. Uh, yeah, but again, let me know. I've told you some of the things that I like to pick up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of things you're picking up lately, what's been selling for you, and make sure you check out the comment section, everybody, because I always get really good tips in the comment section because we are all learning from one another. Once again, make sure you follow me here and go check me out over on Whatnot. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.